Hey there, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a cube in fake 3D in After Effects. So let's start. In this lesson, we are going to use the concept of one point perspective. So in a 3D space, when an object moves away from the camera, it converges in a single point known as the vanishing point and it is the vanishing point is located in a line called the line of horizon and when that object is moving towards the camera it diverges and it diverges with respect to that vanishing point so this is the basic concept of one point perspective if you want to learn more about perspective and one point perspective do check out my other lesson on how to animate a walk cycle in front view i have explained in full details regarding perspective and one point perspective you will get the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner you will be able to see the lesson so let's proceed with this lesson and let's animate our cube so right now we are inside of after effects and let's create a square with the help of rectangle tool i'm going to keep it white fill and black stroke because we can change the color later on after doing the animation let's give a name and i'm going to align it to the center of this composition window and after that i'm going to go under contents go to this rectangle path right click on it and convert it into basic path perfect and also come over here in stroke and change this to rounded perfect and i'm going to copy this layer again and just put it below this one okay now i'm going to open the path property put a keyframe and do the same with the other one as well and i'm going to put a keyframe at the zero frame as well and this is the tenth frame of this composition okay now at this particular point we are going to rotate this cube Right now it is a square but uh, in 3D it's a cube so we are going to rotate it uh, on the y axis so this is the y axis and we are going to rotate it in this direction so for that I'm going to select the path and first of all move this edge over here now when it is uh, fully rotated in 90 degrees then uh, only a square will be visible if it uh, it has been rotated in 90 degrees then so i'm going to just move this edge and put it over here it will be over here but again this edge will converge to the point which is the vanishing point so it will look something like this and we can even use ruler if we want to be extremely precise about the converging point so this is the midpoint and we can just put the ruler and we can just uh, adjust the position accordingly and after that we are going to select these two vertices and put it like this and at this particular point this particular path will be at this edge and we are going to converge this edge okay so let's check our animation let's easy is the keyframe yeah it's looking pretty nice so right now we are going to jump on to next five frames now at this at the midpoint this length will increase from the actual length this edge length because when it is rotating this edge will be above the plane so that's why we are going to select the path and extend it a bit we can even use the rulers perfect so let's check our animation yeah 
this one looks even better so right now we are going to rotate the cube in x axis so basically we are going to rotate it in this way now we are going to split this layer first after that i'm going to copy this layer and put it below this layer perfect now we are going to open the path property and jump on to next 10 frames and put a keyframe each one over here and it is basically rotating this way so we are going to again select this edge and uh, just pull it over here and also converge this edge as well so again uh, use the rulers to properly converge it if you want to converge both the sides equally perfect and i'm going to select this edge and just put it like this perfect and at this point this edge will also need to be moved this way and this edge will converge with this ruler positions perfect and just move it here okay so let's check our animation yeah it's already looking better but uh, we can jump on to next five frames and let's increase this side of the edge a bit because it will be above the plane All right, so let's check our animation. Okay, so we are going to trim this path at this point and let's bring the work area end over here and let's check our animation. Yep, it's looking pretty nice. So that is how you can animate a cube in fake 3d in after effects do try it on your own it's very simple and even if you are a beginner in after effects you can do it all by yourself so i would highly recommend you to try it on your own and if you have any doubt regarding this lesson do comment down below and let me know i will be happy to help you out so hope you liked and learned a lot from this lesson so if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye